Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back along to another midweek mod review with me, Simulation for the Nation. Over the course of the next five or ten minutes or so, we are going to be looking through some of the uh, most intriguing mods that have come to the uh, mod hub across the last few days of the week. And uh, we're going to have a look into them and just kind of see what I like about them and why they are here. Uh, so we're going to start today. We're going to jump straight on into it with the JCB TM420 Ecomax T4F, uh, which is not the one on the end it is this guy right here uh so this is by ross n mods uh, it is available across all platforms and they've done a really quite nice little job on this one now first thing we'll, we'll do i've got the this is a 320 mod, uh, tm from the mod up here just for scale really uh and yeah as you can see it does look uh it's it is a baby baby brother there really but yeah this is uh it's a it's a big much like in real life that it's a chunkier version there is uh, a lot more upgrading and, and kind of beefing up of the of the boom around the uh on the lift arm there as well it just looks so much uh so much better uh, really very very much uh a, a more a rugged uh, device so what i'm gonna do is just get rid of this tm320 just so we don't need to see that one anymore we don't get ourselves confused and here it is so there's quite a few nice features with this one uh, we're going to jump in first of all and have a look at it inside the interior here uh this is now this does look like your standard interior from your um from your tm as well but yeah it's uh it's very nice indeed we just start it up nice to see that our dash is working on the side there we've got animated joystick which works across all functionality there you've got a, a display which is not doing anything on the side there but still nice to get a little bit of detail in if i put my lights on as well no dashboard lights on the side there but still a little bit of detail with the decals which i think is always better than nothing there for sure uh, the jcb comes with configurable tire options uh, we're going to look at that in a minute as well what i really want to show you though is uh, first of all we have a, a rather great uh, animated door so that uh, that is uh, fully functional on pc here at least with the mouse uh, so that can open it up we're going to keep it open for now it has a level lift feature so if i do this you'll see as we lift up the boom look at that staying level bob on level there i like that an awful lot always good to see uh lights on this beast are all led look how light they are they look very nice look at the detail on the lights as well really nice really like to see that one uh and then as we come on into the store here we're just going to bring it up very quickly uh we want to be the, uh the eco max this starts at 109 uh, thousand uh you can change the rim colors the tires at the moment there we've gone look at those michelins on there aren't they pretty cool and then you can go some really big uh chunky boys on there as well uh you've also got your trellis as standard really um and then the other nice little feature you can change the beacon so if you've got low buildings to go into there you can put some led beacons on rather than uh rather than your more traditional ones which kind of is pretty neat there uh but yeah that is the jcb like i said it's on all platforms it has 145 horsepower there and it can lift about 4.1 ton which is which is a heck of a lot for a little thing there but yeah ultimately i think this is a very very nice looking little uh little loader actually very much looking forward to getting this in originally i, I kind of just thought you know oh it's just a scaled up version of the uh of the 320 there but when you get looking through it there are quite a few little add-ons and a few little tweaks here and there that do make it look pretty darn mean so yeah love to see it on the pit soon and see how that one works uh moving on it probably wouldn't be a mod review without me looking into a massive ferguson at some point down the line here and today we are uh, no exception this is the 8600 by dmg underscore mert it is across all platforms again now this has had a few little configurations uh, added on to it this is uh it has the mainly with the tire configurations there which we'll get into there you can also have various different base color and design color and rim color options so we'll have a look into that in the store right now uh so we're going to come to large because it's a it's a big guy it is indeed we're going to go through to the very end the 240,000 pretty much is the base price uh we're on the trellis uh we're going to go to michelin which i do prefer uh wheel weights uh we've got the wide tires there we've got wide and wheels uh, and that's our standard options there old fenders versus new and then you'll see if you keep an eye on the back end there you'll see you get some rather mean looking uh, extensions on there as well uh, and you can also go up to 86 90 as well which is 340 horsepower plenty of beans there design colors you've got plenty you're gonna go for the black, black uh and then you're gonna go for, go for that there that looks pretty mean do quite like that actually uh rim color as well we can change let's see what the beige would look like on that oh no not the beige not the beige ah, getting better but yeah pretty cool nice to have some different options like that i do always prefer being a bit of a traditionalist there i will stay with the massey now this and uh, the standard that's gonna be better you're getting me on board there a bit more now i can play with that one that one's not too bad 
But yeah, uh, always nice and interesting. They'll have a little bit of a, a different uh, play around with them. Uh, what we'll have a look at is uh, just inside the cab here. Very, very clean looking cab, actually. Now, this would be an interesting one because, yeah, it's nice to see that we've got the old T-bar uh, transmission in there as well, which is kind of neat. Now, does that move forward? It does indeed. As we go forward, it moves forward as well, which is awesome to see. Very nicely designed and detailed dash there. Uh, lots going on on this pillar. As we turn the main lights on, you'll see the light bar uh, comes on as well. If I turn on my beacons, we don't see any lights there. But hey, at least we've got some lights coming through. But it's always nice. There's a lot of detail there. I'm all about the detail inside the cab, which is great to see. Uh, and yeah, it will have my getting any. So no indicated lights coming on on the dashboard there, unfortunately. But yeah, like I say, nice good track there. I like to see the animation inside it. And it's a smart little cabin to work in here, actually. It really is available, as I said, on all platforms. Uh, make sure you go and check it out and download it there. And it is by uh, DMG underscore mate. And another one that really kind of uh, uh, perked my attention when I saw this arrive on the mod hub today. This is the Strokeman Verti Mix Double SF Pack. Now, I'm a big fan of self-propelled uh, feeders. I think it's a really great idea there. This one has quite a lot of, uh, um, quite a few little adjustments to it, which makes it really, really interesting to me. First of all, if we just have a, like a bit of a walk around it here. And these are two the same. The reason we have these two, I should say, is if we just kind of scoot up a bit here, is that we have one is slightly bigger than the other. Uh, now, what it does look like I've done is perhaps pick two the same. However, there is a few different options. Uh, and now what we'll do is, first of all, we'll have a quick play with this. Looking inside the cab here is, again, nice and neat. You've got uh, animated paddles on the floor there. You've got a nice looking dash as well. I'm going to be curious to see how that works. As obviously, the needles are working as we move it around here. Uh, this big arm here is obviously your feed arm. So if I use this as a loader control, up she blows. One of the adjustments they've made here is that it has an extended reach, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then you can also open up the guard at the very top. If I press X, it folds in the chute, as you can see, uh, allowing in the uh, the passage of food. Uh, so all good news, drive this just around the corner. It is currently four wheel steer. You can change that steer in variety as well. Um, they've updated some of the mixing capabilities in here so it can handle sugar beet and uh, potatoes, which is kind of cool. But what we're going to do is just come up to this hit heap of tmr we're gonna turn her on and then she blows they're filling it all up we're gonna stop because we're gonna go back you spy a bale of straw that you want to add in there no problem at all let's just go up and add in that bale of straw in fact what we might try and do first off is see if i can get that silage bale in first but we'll take it no interesting to figure out how that one works uh so let's see if we can just unload it here now we have a few different options to unload from the side uh so we're going to choose we're currently on the left side here so we're going to go uh control i out comes the flap uh we're dropping feed down into the passageway there uh control and y will change your steering as you can see we're back onto the front wheel steer only here if i go into this one now can i pick this guy up no okay look at that um, shredder on the front massive absolutely massive i love the detail on this as well as we have a look around the conveyor belt moving up the up the through the arm there the huge blades on the back of it the fact that you can change it and load inside as well is pretty cool for me i really do uh, find that awesome this is by a group called virtual farmers uh no not that one there's some more uh and it is across all platforms as well if we come on into the shop here we're going to go down to animals uh now this is already one available in game which is that one uh but we have the two different options here so right now we have uh, one of each as you can see we have an increased capacity on here uh and then you can also see what we we're able to put into this so essentially everything you need bulk items wise to make a uh, total mix ration i don't think it's actually going to take any bales out i think we uh, just need to crack on and use uh, use any bulk that you can see. And ultimately, the main difference here is that you're going to see just a, a, a smaller uh, smaller size uh, machine there, really. It's it's a very well-made model. I think it's just a nice feature to have. We were looking to bring in one of these on one of my servers uh, just to, to have a think about it. But yeah, now we've got this one in, we may well just do that. What we'll be curious to see as we are here, and one thing I really wish to want to test out with you, uh, whilst we go we're going to start it back up again we're going to fire on let's just come up to this big old pile here 
and now you can see it is coming in we're just gonna keep moving forward you can see our display here is boosting up as well which shows that it is active and it's all functioning there i've turned on some lights we've got some lights coming on there let's see what happens if i press some other buttons around steering did the lights just oh no i thought the light switch went on there uh but yeah so it's pretty cool it's nice to see that that display is active because it's very prominent there and you want to be able to see it kind of control through uh so yeah that is the uh the that is the Strotman vid you mix double sf pack by virtual farmers uh, like i say it's available across all platforms there nice little bit of a, a, a of a change up uh, that holds like 17 ton in the back of that one that must be what the 1702 stands for very impressive really really is impressive and speaking of impressive we move on to the last mod here this is the class jaguar 900 type 496 uh this is by mb 3d modeling and stv modding uh together and again available across all platforms there have a bit of a look around the outside first i do like to see a big jaguar here now obviously we have the dlc if you aren't in the position to be able to uh, buy or download the dlc there then it is great to have a great uh, a new mod in here of the class jaguar um check out the incredible uh kind of uh, threshing unit there on the front that is quite something uh really pretty mean we're going to jump on the inside uh, have a quick look at it from an inside perspective here uh, so as you can see, it's not too detailed. We're going to fire it on, see if this comes to life. Li you can see some of the texturing is a little bit older there, down on the uh, where the dash is. That it looks like the POV uh, is a little bit zoomed out, maybe. But hey, it still looks really good. Uh, and main thing is when you like little things like this, when you hit the lights, that the lights come on and light up all the dashes and dials. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, always a fan of seeing that. Uh, we, are, as far as I am aware, it does does not come with any um, pickup header. Uh, so. As we come on into our forage harvester header here, you'll see that there isn't any uh, any new headers on here. So uh, you'll have to try and find one of those from elsewhere. But like I say, it is a beautiful looking uh, piece of equipment. It has a few different options and configurations that you can play with here. Uh, so we'll have a look at some of those right about now. One of the things that it has there, which is a sneaky little uh, kind of vent right here. You'll see this flap is a vent that we can open and close with the mouse functionality. Uh, we'll put our lights on there just to show all the rear working lights. It has, when we go through our cameras, it has the interior camera, it has the uh, or the shoot camera, which is kind of neat to see. And then you've got your external camera, as you come to expect. Jumping on into the store here as well, we do have color configurable options. We You may see behind me here, we do have the um, the, the kind of the black beauty version, if you would like. Uh, and then we come to forage harvesters. Here is the end, 235000 as a starting price. You can configure a few different things. Obviously, the wheels always a go-to here for uh, most of our modern day mods these days uh, and then you can extend obviously the, uh, the length of the pipe so you can get a nice uh, the longer pipe there if you're doing maze and then you've got your engine capacity as well 50,000 for an update of an engine that is impressive but then you are going to get 884 horsepower plenty of bang in there that's for sure uh, and so yeah that is the version just to show you you can actually go for all of the color spectrum here's one I made earlier and let pretty impressive i do quite i think it looks pretty good in black i really really do uh so that is the uh that is the class jaguar 900 the type 496 here uh by mb 3d modeling and stv modern combined uh again a nice little new feature and nice new mod there just to get for the, for those who perhaps don't have the dlc or just want a different uh jaguar to work with this is the machine for you and that's it folks that has been a little bit longer than anticipated but that is the midweek mod review for the best mods i've seen from the last few days if you have enjoyed don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to simulation for the nation and we'll see you all in the next one